I had no idea you could make snow in your terminal. But when I found out, I thought, this seems fun and something I could use to practice my Python skills. So I decided to give it a try and create a script that would make it snow in my terminal. Essentially, the idea is simple. It's just a bunch of symbols falling down in real time. It sounded straightforward enough, but the question was, how do I actually do this? I started digging and came across with some amazing implementations, but I wanted to figure it out on my own. My first step was understanding how to control the terminal screen. To do this, I used a Python library called Curses. This was the most important step. The concept is simple. Snowflakes should start at random coordinates, fall down the screen, and refresh constantly. The Curses library is perfect for handling this because it can update the terminal screen in real time. So I created a Python file called snow.py. I imported the necessary library, which is this curse. Then I set up the Curses environment using curses.wrapper, which handles the initialization and cleanup for me. To make the terminal look clean, I hit the cursor using this. I needed to know the terminal's dimensions, height, and width to ensure the snow could fall across the entire screen. I used this to retrieve this information. Then I made a list to hold the coordinates of the snowflakes. I also set up a ratio to determine how many flakes would appear initially. Each snowflake was represented as a tuple of X and Y coordinates. Then I focused on the main animation loop. Each snowflake Y coordinate increased as it fell. To move the snowflakes, I have to increase the Y coordinate of the snowflake as it fell. If a snowflake reached the bottom of the screen, I removed it. I introduced new flakes at the top of the screen with random X positions. I used the add ch method to place each snowflake as its XY position. This function updates the terminal with the snowflake's character. To control the animation speed, I added a short delay using time.sleep. I also included handling for interruptions like pressing Ctrl C to ensure the terminal wouldn't be left in an unusable state. I also found some great implementations where snowflakes didn't disappear when they hit the bottom of the screen. Instead, they started to pile up, which I thought it was great. I experimented with this concept, but for simplicity, my initial script discards flakes once they hit the bottom. 